Hi, I'm Anthony Annaletto from Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Today I want to do a little bit short video to talk a little bit about our 30 horsepower vacuum and what we've done to make it probably the, most, the best 30 horsepower vacuum on the market today. First I want to start with the impeller. The impeller is designed as it was years ago, backward curved blade, won't over ramp, best type of airflow, bringing the air in through here on a centrifugal producer, letting it out the sides. The tabs the way these are made is the simplest form, is a flat plate bent and, ro and rolled for the shape of the, of the curve, but then with these little tabs here that we bend in place so that the bend is away from the travel so they can spin smoothly. The problem is, as you can look down inside here, we're just putting a, a, a flat edge against the flat plate. It's not the best seal that we can possibly get to maintain our airflow and maximize our performance. So at this time here, we went and re-engineered our blades and our diffuser plates. But the most important thing we did was we took this impeller here and we made it die. Not only did we actually we bend it and keep it the same size so it fits snug against the plates with a, with a 1 8 flat surface, we then put rivet holes in here and kept the exact same curve. We actually tipped out just a hair, but we're able to rivet this together so we get no wobble and no run out. We balance these blades at 800 RPMs, and that's what these rivets are for on the other side here. And they've got a tolerance that they, they, they got it within to make sure it was good to use. When we balance these wheels down today, Without the runout, we have less wobble, we have a longer life, better balancing, it's gonna perform better year after year. So we did, the, we did it to that, and we also did it to the diffuser plate. The other most important thing about the vacuum cleaner is, the vacuum cleaner wants to run and move air. If you block off all the outlets of the producer, like your nozzles in a holster like this here, when you put this inside, no air now moves through that turbine, and that turbine drops by voltage. It'll drop almost 30% in its total amp draw. Um, and, and it'll save you money while the customers aren't using them. Every time somebody pulls out a tool, it'll go up an amp, and it'll start working a little bit harder because it's got to move more air. So having these tools, whether they're the crevice claw or the crevice tool, either one of these here will maximize your savings and maintain your vacuum performance because only the customers that are using vacuums will be getting the full suction, and they will be getting full suction. On the unit itself here, we've got a new six inch muffler, six inch inlet, six inch inlet, and outlets on the tanks. We ship it out with a six by four um, reducing bushing. So if you're gonna use a smaller vacuum and, and four inch pipe, you can put the reducing bushing on and make that work. This tank here has a magnet helix gauge that measures inches of water. And I have it set up right now with a four inch pipe coming off of it with three hoses on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna open this one up as well. And we're gonna look at the magnet helix gauge and the performance, which is measuring inches of water column um, to see how well it's performing with these hoses on. And if we close a couple of them, okay? Let's start the vacuum cleaner up now and you'll see what I mean. As the unit comes up to full speed, you can see that our gauge is actually buried in just over 100 uh, inches of, of water. Right now, two, two lines are off. If I pull another line off, you'll see that line move down a little bit. And the same thing works. As you pull out a hole, a hole, a uh, tool holder, uh, it's not the vacuum. It'll actually uh, drop a little bit. When you put them away, it goes down. This unit's performing at its maximum right now and providing suction on those lines, as you can hear it. But when you put them away, amperage drops, you save money. Okay, you can turn off that vacuum now and I wanna just talk about our stainless steel doors. Recently, we've had some, some concerns about the paint and the quality. We, we use a, a marine yachting paint. So this is designed for harsh environments, salt weather, outdoors. We don't get a lot of fading but if we don't handle the tank properly, we have, we've had, have had some rusting. One of our problems was on the outside of this cap. We made a cap that was a spun dome, keeps the water off it. We used to weld the inside, now we weld the outside so we seal in any moisture and it can't rust and run down. We also changed our two doors to stainless steel. So now we have stainless steel doors with stainless steel hinges and now we won't have any more rust running out of here because the, the hinges are actually welded to the door before it's painted. Therefore, we had a little gap in there where we had some raw steel material that was actually rusting and then dripping. So we think we've improved the performance of the entire unit. Um, we went to a cast housing, we tried a couple different things, the new 30 horsepower motor and the muffler. This is a great producer that's gonna give you long life. And as you can see in the warehouse down here, it's just Monday. Uh, we got a lot of trucks leaving this week, but we got about uh, 25 or so vacuums here. We got tanks on this side here. We've got water separators and the new 30 horsepowers are in stock ready to go. So if you need a vacuum cleaner or you wanna upgrade your system for your free vacs or your full serve, Give us a call and we'll get a vacuum ready to go to you as soon as you need it. Thanks for watching and as always, good luck and good washing.